Classic Truck Rescue. Today's video is one I've been wanting to upload for a very long time. Uh, it covers a fence that we made for Chet. He was having problems getting out. Well, he wasn't having problems getting out. He was just getting out. He was getting all over the property, making messes, if you know what I mean, in the wrong spots. And he actually got out on the road one time and almost got hit by a car. And that made us really think. Uh, we didn't want anyone getting hurt and we didn't want Jet getting hurt. So I had to drop everything right before a wedding in September and build a 600 foot fence for him. So that's what this video is about. It's not gonna be a series. You're gonna see the whole project in this video, not from start to completion because I already had one section done. I will include a link right here to the first video I made on it so you'll know everything you need to do to make a fence just like this. If you wanna build a low budget, decent looking fence, just watch these two videos and I'll show you everything that I learned and, and how I did it. Uh, you might wanna tweak things and make things a little different in yours but it's a good blueprint I think and uh, oh also McFly's doing really good and I'm getting better with him uh, so what I did do today before this video is I went and took McFly down by the road and flew all the way down the fence line so you could see it from that perspective you'll notice that I was huffing and puffing and sweating in the video that's because it was 98 degrees well between 98 and 100 degrees the whole time I was building it right now it's kind of cold out here but burr let's get out of here and go back to summer when it was hot and warm and I hope you like the video I'm gonna get in there get this uploaded and get it to you peace out classic truck rescue today I'm gonna quit playing the game that I've been playing with Jet for a very long time a few months ago I made his what I call Anna stay over here come on come on stay over here I made what I call his John Wayne fence so that we could keep him in that part of the pasture but we never finished the backside and he was good to go for a while so we stopped right there and this is the backside of his pasture with his favorite tree that he likes to be under and when it's sunny out and all we have is tape and rope and all of this stuff that he eventually just ignores and walks right through but we've also got a solar uh, power supply for to electrify it and it just hasn't been on for a long time because there were so many breaks and things in the line so I'm gonna go get a whole bunch of posts that we already have and cut them down to size and finish this pasture because when he escapes the problem is he poos all over the property and for some reason he likes to poo in my building site where I'm trying to build my building but uh, I've just spent so much time chasing this guy and rounding him up and everything that I, I'm gonna go ahead and secure him in here and uh, be done with that plus we want to uh, cut off a little of this spot because we're gonna put the fire trucks over here and you found them? cool uh, Jamie found some hardware so I can take this old gate that I built a long time ago and put it in a useful spot and I'm just gonna run posts from there over to about there and from there over to behind his tree and back over that way and it's not gonna happen fast and I'm not gonna film every stage of it but I thought it'd be cool to show you the last part of his pasture that we need to fence in and uh, fence it in and then show you the after but I, I do like the John Wayne fence, the way it kind of rolls with the property and everything. And that's the kind of fencing we want to have out here. So might as well get her done. Get him secured. Him. Hey, Jet! Jet! He's like, I'm busy, dude. What are you doing, buddy? Anyway, we'll get him fenced in. I'll come back and show you what we got. And eventually... Where that junky old truck sitting with Jamie's stuff for her horse in the back. We want to move that truck, get rid of that hokey tent on top of it, put some trusses up there, which I already have, and divide that section so that the back half is like a horse barn for her with a gate right across from it. And uh, that'll get me out of the woods on the horse thing. We learned that the, uh, the highest part of the, the crossbar needs to be towards whatever's supporting. So like if that was, that was actually on their right. It would need to swing this way. I'm talking about the top of the, the diagonal bar, you see that goes across there? The top of that has to be on whichever spot has the hinges on it. Whichever, 
the spot is holding up the gate. Yeah, I'll do the gate. I said I wasn't going to film this and was just going to do it, but we kind of like having little clips like this for our own memories, you know, of working on the property. Jamie's been out helping me. We got the, she's using her little tractor to haul away all the debris and stuff and divide it, put the wood on the fire pit and the tea posts in one spot, but we got all the old tea posts out and opened this up and I've started clearing on his tree. This is Jet's tree, huh Jet? He likes this tree. And uh, this is where he can get out of the shade and he's got his, his water stays cool under there. So you don't want to get carried away clearing this, but Hey, uh, hey. minute work. Whoa, <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, we want to put a gate over here in between these, but you want to be careful when you're clearing because you don't want to get rid of too much. But I do need to get rid of that limb there and the, a couple of those guys over there. This one over here, just to kind of open this area up but keep it as shaded as possible. So, and then eventually, between two of those storage containers, we're gonna put the trusses and the roof, and then, so that makes this a logical spot for a gate, right here. We'll be back. Yeah, I like the hitching post. Jamie built that hitching post when we first got Jed out here. Anyway, got my gate done, look what we got. <laughs> Oh, she's already started decorating. <laughs> anyway, got a real good post we found from the posts that we bought at the vineyard that were reclaimed. And this is the first gate I built out here, huh, honey? Second gate. Uh uh. Oh, yeah. It is the first gate. And there's a little thing on the post over there that I put on there when I built this gate. It's, it's kind of engraved and says Jamie's Coffee Spot and the date. And we're going to move that over here. It right there anyways so now that I've got the main post with the hinges on it I'm gonna dig a hole right here for the other post this is gonna be neat huh are you gonna have oh wait are you gonna have that post so it rests behind this no because we got this latch right here so I'm gonna put this post right here uh, but I'm uh, a round post here but I'm gonna put a flat board on it and put the latch on the flat board with it as well balanced as that is it's just got to hit the right spot, right? Ooh, if that springs it, will it sprung it? Uh, that's Well, I thought about that oh, when it well, started going, but it seems to bottom out at just the right spot. We'll just have to remember to let it open slow. But that works good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the whole dug for this guy. Did you mark it? Yes. Your mama's smiling. We got a gate. <laughs> a gate that's attached to nothing. Yay.
93 degrees out, but I'm making awesome progress on the rest of Jet's John Wayne fencing. Just got to finish putting posts in down there, and then I can start putting my cross pieces in. I'm going to make a, I'm going to get a couple of logs and put on each side of that spot right there where it's indented, right where Anna just went through. I'm going to put a log on each side going up, a taller one, and so I can put a, a little board or something across the top that says Crooked Post Corral. <laughs> These are just old vineyard posts and it may look hooky and I'm going to get that area down there. I'm doing pretty good today. So that's the last stretch right there between that tree and where I left off out front. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish it all and we'll have jet securely fenced in. I've got a real good solar powered uh, charger right there and the ground rod that I can put in by that post over there and we'll run one strand of inch and a half poly cord around the top on the inside so that he'll have to come up against that before he comes up against the fence. I think it's going to work out pretty good. The Crooked Post Corral. <laughs> Home of Jet. It'll be neat. Anyway, going out front. Come on, Anna. Come on. Come on. Come on, sweet. Come on. Well, I didn't get it finished today, but I got a long ways. Jamie came home and gave me a hand for about an hour and a half after I drilled all the holes and had all the upright posts in position. We put the first layer, the lower uh, horizontal pieces in. And no, that's not going to keep Jet in tonight, but it's going to make him have to lift a leg and make an effort. Instead of just pushing through some rotted piece of old electrical cloth stuff, whatever it is, polycord. But I kind of made it wrap around his favorite spot there. And uh, we'll get her done tomorrow. Well, that wound up being about a week and a half worth of work. But Jet's all fully contained. Got my crooked post corral done, made out of John Wayne fencing, and uh, put a nice gate over here that swings open real good, pretty well balanced. And uh, I have one section that I had to finish up right there, and it's all assembled. And all I have to do is go down the row and cut all the uh, horizontal pieces off at the ends. And the vertical pieces up on top, so they're like that. And it is finished. And I'm glad of it. It's a big project, but it's fully fenced from the back of the front section of the property all the way down to the road out front. About 600 feet of fencing. And that's what you need when you have one of those. <laughs> Jet! Jet! Yeah. He's a happy camper. This is his tree, so we kind of made the corral wrap around his favorite spot so he could get out of the sun, and uh, I think it worked out pretty good. And now I can go start getting ready for the wedding. As soon as I whack these tops off, I'll let you guys watch me bust a sweat.
crooked post corral John Wayne fence done done been waiting a long time to have this project done but he's fenced in all the way back there around here around his spot got a gate more stuff all the way down to the road and he's got plenty of room folks and this is a good thing thanks for joining me also if you're on a budget and want to build an inexpensive yet sturdy corral to keep your horse in or i will include a link in the description to when i did that first section a very long time ago and i guess i was only about a third of the way done at that point but i did show how to build uh this fence on the cheap if you can find a place that is uh, a vineyard that's closed down or you know a lot of times they they buy property and if it's vineyards on it they pull all the posts out because they're going to make a subdivision there it does happen not all the time but if you can find a, a vineyard that's closed down and they got a big old mountain of poles that you can get for 50 cents a piece i recommend spending 500 dollars and getting a thousand yeah that's what we did and we still have enough left that i can make jamie a lunching <laughs> i'm kind of dirty uh jamie a lunching circle thingy jigger out there but that can wait just wanted to get him contained i've got three weeks until the wedding I am not going to have time to get the roof on my building, but I am going to have time to uh, clean up the spot where Jamie wants to get married and set up a stage for the band. And then as soon as we get back from the honeymoon, that uh, building is all I'm doing. I keep seeing that, I know. And then stuff pops up where I got to redo the water, redo the electric, build fences, and still try to earn a living. I'm gonna go ship some hats to some people who've been waiting for them. That's what I'm gonna do. Peace out. I'll, I'll include a link. So if you wanna know how to build one of these, I'm pretty sure I explained it in detail when I did that first section. So uh, I'll, I'll put them in a playlist together and that'll be two videos that you can watch. I show you completely how to do this. Uh, I like the look of it. Uh, you know, some people might think it's kind of cheesy or whatever, but uh, we are on a budget out here and we try to get, do things as uh, inexpensively as we can but still try to you know wind up with something decent and I'm happy with this fence and it's been keeping Jet in and Jet and I have actually gotten to know each other a little better through this experience and uh, heck he's been around me for five years and uh, hey buddy hey hey you good boy <laughs> he's a good old horse Anyway, I am filthy and covered with sawdust, so uh, let's all go jump on the tractor and head down to the swimming hole. I'm going to take a bath. It's hot out, folks. Well, I worked on the fence a little longer than I anticipated, but it's still warm and the water's still beautiful. And thank you, Lord. That was one of the best baths I've had in my entire life. The swimming hole is, uh, has been good. Thank you, Lord. He's a little too big for you, huh? Classic truck rescue. Always looking into new wildlife adventures to share with you. <laughs> this guy's coming right after my foot. You stay away from my foot. No, 
Now the other one's coming after my foot. You never know what kind of critters you're going to see out here on the classic truck ranch. I wonder if he's friendly. Oh, that might be Chipper. Does she have a chunk missing out of her tail? I don't think so. But she was lighter than him, remember? Wouldn't it be cool if they showed up to the Chipper and Sawtooth? Yeah. 